All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest man on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Introducing the challenger, Big Daddy. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet two inches tall, Weighing in at 116 pounds, fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Ricky Boy. So here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all costs. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his oh. He's in trouble. He's getting lit up. Oh! Nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. And DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Right there, bro. Wow. It was a good night that landed. 
big ball punch lands. Now we get back to range. Able to check that kick as well. All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jabs. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Right on the button. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Wow, actually got the takedown. Close guard. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Ooh, head kick lands on her. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, he'll engage in a single follow tie. Trying to establish that jab once again. And that one certainly found the target. Well, the opponent seemed to think he had shored up the takedown defense. It did not hold up there. It may feel good in practice, <laughs> but you don't know until the guys in front of you hit the takedown attempt after takedown attempt. Back to the feet now. Nice punch lands on the top. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Two minutes. Got a single collar tie. How about that shin? Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Able to land the left hand there. Straight right hand, no good. Beautiful punch. Man punch. Try to establish that jab. Nice take. Directly into the finish. Nice take. Ball tags him with the left, so the right hand has been there. Now he goes left hand. When you're able to fight from both sides, you become really dangerous. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. There's no give on that leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Another shot lands upstairs. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. from that last round, DC, take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Second round here. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch flush. Nice one, two there. Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice job landing the knee there. He's got a lot of size for this division and put it to good use there. Right punches there. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, 
Straight punch lands flush on the counter. Nice deception with his footwork. And again, a broken record when it comes to the reach advantage. Certainly helped him out there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch the punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, that left hand is money tonight. Big body kick. Lance with a right hand. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this over and over. You come up, you go down. Another takedown win. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know when, when to hold him. him. Yep, absolutely. Go. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. It's a beautiful fast foot jab with beating. Both guys really throwing with authority. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, nice job working hard, posting, and getting back up. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they're fighting behind him real well. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh, big punch land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Unable to connect there. This can change the fight. Another takedown win. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Oh, that punch right there. His opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. And that was a perfect shot. And they separate. Another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Ten seconds to go. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took the risk. What a fantastic round. Oh, 
All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades of the Diaz brothers in that previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. And then every now and again, he would set down with a strike that was really damaging in the ball. Outstanding knee to the body there. He's the taller fighter. He might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. What a punch. Take it for a ride. Nice double leg, nice finish. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast, and he has a real confidence every time he throws the punch. He landed it perfectly. Perfect place. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. Spinning back fist. Oh, great head movement there. Slips his head off the center line, and defensively, that's exactly what you're looking for. It's almost like he can telegraph when the punch is coming, and when he sees it, he just makes a slight little movement, right or left, to get out of the way and avoid those shots. And he connects with a the punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Beautiful kick. There, huge block for him. Connects now with the one two. Just misses with the jab. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Oh, nice job here staying busy off of his back. Nice offense from the box. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on them. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every fifth gym around the country. Under two minutes now to go. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Oh, wow, that happened quickly as the fighter reverses position there on the ground. Unbelievable position change. Wow, what a transition. Close guard. Well, he works hard to get up again here, but he looks hurt. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, another strike to the body. Not a lot of real estate there, but he found it. An educated jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, he comes right back to his face. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give him. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, lands a left punch there, and a lot of it's set up by good footwork. Really great footwork and setting traps so that he can land that beautiful left hand. Nice. Just missing on the uppercut there. 
Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch to get to the target. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Hey, stop. Excellent. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. We had a knockdown there, but not a knockout. No, it wasn't a knockout, but you can't take those shots. That big punch landed, and it sat him down. If he gets hit with another one of those, it might be good night, Irene. All right, so here we go. Fourth round is underway. What is the fighter's mentality when you enter those seminal championship events? You understand that you are getting close now. The night is almost over. The goal is within reach now. 15 minutes down, 10 to go. You tell yourself you can do anything for 10 minutes. Oh, uh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Ooh, what a punch. Like the thought there, good attempt at a counter. Ultimately, it's no good. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh! Oh! He's in trouble. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. He doesn't know if he's in the octagon or at his mama's house for Thanksgiving. Dude hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Knock him out. The fight's done. Right hook to the head block. Went for the inside leg kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Out of range with that one. There's no tell on that leg kick. Good punch land. All right, so a high amplitude double leg takedown there. Now we'll see what he can do with it to try to advance position on the ground. You knew that he was going to attack the double because he's such an explosive guy. He got it on the hips, finished the shot very quickly. Fantastic job. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, dominant position here. He's got the full mount. A lot of different ways he can go here. Maybe try to find an arm bar or just get the ground and count. He can attack submissions, but those submissions will present themselves once he is landing that brutal ground and pound he is known for. Because then his opponents will start to get a little bit desperate to get out from under him, which will then in turn leave arms dangling or he'll turn to his knees. Two minutes to go in the round. Wow. Great punch landed with so much power. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. is blocked. Misses with the right hand. Big kick lands. Lands flush with that right hand. Tonight, it's hard to land a strike more flush than he 
did right there, and I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So he'll see the replay and probably shake his head, but ultimately this is a huge result and a huge win for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched glove. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 56 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, 50 more. All right, so heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite of heavyweight. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency 